guys welcome back to the wawero's well i know it's the wawero's and i know i've been alone for quite a while let me tell you something guys as the marriage progresses people start getting busy and should read marriage just come by the way since, since you're not employed by youtube or content right now we have our jobs and so the mister is always busy and i am busy but i make time i make time to create content when the babies go to sleep so anyway Today I'm doing jab videos alone because your questions are becoming too many and I have to fill these questions again from the source where they are. So please bear with me. So I'm going to answer a few questions that you've been sending to us and you've been putting them and then we've been taking them, printing them out and putting them in a jar for you guys. Because we realize that we cannot answer all of you on inbox. So tell your friends to tell their friends that everything they send us on inbox, we have them on YouTube answering them from a jar. Because... We are perfect couple, couple goes. So, first questions. I'm not as detailed as the mister, but I'm telling you, ooh, Jesus. What do you consider a complete family? Okay, layman's language, father, mother, and children, but for me is a group of people bounded by love, support, and care for one another. A group of people that can go miles and miles for each other or these people that know very well that I live and I keep living to be there for you no matter what families don't let each other down families don't let each other go they just hold the fort for each other at all times to me that's complete family yeah but at the moment other mother and children in my life they are family okay I have a huge family though Good. Next question. How to overcome a trauma? I know you guys have been seeing everywhere online that everyone is talking about therapy. And I also know that therapy can be expensive. And I also consider you if you feel anything that has gone through you. You've gone through a trauma in your life and you want to get over it. Most of the times, even talking to the person closest to you can help. Just don't die with it while you're waiting to go for therapy or die with it because you cannot afford therapy. I also understand that Red Cross, if I'm not strong, have a toll free line for therapy because they help you. I also understand the organizations that have suicide prevention, mental health issues. So please, I will do a few research for you and one day I will come here and tell you about it more. But in the meantime, I think I've seen uh, TMI podcast talking about it so much. So you can go check them out because they... Lydia KM on Instagram has given you some contacts for therapists that you might need. But don't die with your pain, don't die with your problem. And also remember this, if you've gone through trauma, you live to see another day with hope. And everything is going to be fine. You just have to believe and put yourself in, position yourself in a state of being okay first. Because guess what? Life goes on and life happens and you're going to be happy again. You're going to enjoy your life again. But seek help. Thank you. Next. Oh, I'm going fast with this jar. I might finish this one today. What quantities do you value most in a partner? What qualities do you value? <laughs> quantities, I'm so into money. What qualities do you value most in a partner? Uh, for me, kindness and hard work. I don't think there's anything else I value. The rest of the things will wing them, will grow out of or with because you don't change a person but if you are going to value some qualities that are going to lead you into finding your perfect mate just try as much as possible to get the to get that value that key value that you're looking for for me it's always been kindness and hard work let me tell you something I value someone who is kind because I know the rest of the people around me will not complain I also value the someone who is hardworking because guess what this life needs a hardworking person, especially right now that the economy is bad. Imagine if you have someone who is not hardworking. Mutakufa ja. Next. Where? This one is slim and fat at the same time. Hey, I'm sure I'm going to cut this one. How do you maintain a sense of individuality while being in a committed relationship? This is the hardest. Before you continue, guys, have you read Marriage is a Scam? Well, if you have not, you are missing out. Everything, most of the things that we talk about here have been covered in that book, Marriage is a Scam, and you can find it in any neighbor supermarket near you. Guys, please go get it. If you're not in this country and you need the book, just inbox us on Instagram, the Wawerus, and we'll find a way to get you the book because guess what, guys? Everyone needs to read this book because it's perfect. 
how do you find a sense of individuality while being in a committed relationship first a committed relationship does not take away you as a person let me insist let me reiterate a committed relationship does not take you that does not take away you as a person you need to pour from a full cup you don't pour from an empty cup so the sense of individuality comes from what you like as a person who you are as a person what you enjoy doing that alone time all those things are very important like someone once said it's very hard for you to get a hundred percent of everything you're looking for from one person and remember this is someone you're commit you are in a committed relationship with they can't give you everything they can't just be everything to you guys let me make that clear they can never be everything to you so please if you want to look to find maintain a sense of individuality don't lose it in the first place maintain who you are make sure you are completely happy so that it can be easy for you to make someone happy if by any chance you feel like you're making a sacrifice for someone then stop immediately and go back to being you and making yourself happy so that you can be able to make the other person happy because it doesn't come from you sacrificing your happiness for you to make people happy you'll be miserable next thing you know you're breaking glasses because they did not come home early or they didn't care about you and guys as we're speaking right now it's midnight and they they've not come home and i'm not breaking glasses because they just showered and they feel good hmm. would you prefer a relatively older or a younger person older any day ah okay that is for me age is just a number but for me any day older i don't think i've ever been with a younger person let's see i've dated Ooh, you're dead but no the closest i've come is dating someone who is just one year older than me that is the closest i've come but to be honest i've not dated a younger person ever in my life so for me i prefer older because i tend to believe that i am so wise out there so aggressive so i need someone who is mature enough to cool down the fault and mind you oh god I think this is the last one I'm answering, then we'll see you on the next video on the other. What role does trust play in a healthy relationship? It's everything. Okay, guys, have you read Marriage is a Scam? There's a chapter there on love and trust. And let me tell you something. Trust is the most fragile thing in a relationship. Once it's broken, it's really hard to maintain or bring it back. But at the same time, it can be rebuilt. If you break someone's trust, let me make it clear. You crumble a flower. I've watched them imagine one too many times. Crumble a flower, then you're trying to fix it. That is really so hard. So please, if you know that you're going to hurt someone or you're going to break a trust, I feel like instead of breaking a trust, communicate and say the things that affect you most or the problem that there is. Because once you break a trust, it's really to come back to it. But once you communicate your problems, it will be easy for you to solve that problem. You'd rather throw tantrums today than make a mess a mess that you cannot come out of so please try your best to communicate your issues as early as they can be before you get to a point of temptations whereby you can break a trust because let me tell you something he will never come out of it i'm the i'm a, I'm, I'm a believer of i leave you instead of cheating on you actually yeah i am a believer of that instead of me cheating on you i rather leave you so that i can have my freedom and you can have yours and you won't feel like i played you because of either your faults or your weaknesses because but then again don't overlook people everyone has weaknesses those are how many questions guys guys just six let me do one for jubilee seven and that's it for the day how do you engage with cultural appropriation and promote cultural understanding Go, guys this one i'm making that wrapping it and returning it to the chair Next time after I've done the research and known what cultural appropriation and cultural understanding is. You guys stop sending me educational questions. Jeez. Okay. Most of these questions are now becoming too hard for my small brain. And <laughs> remember, we are making ourselves happy first. Okay. How do you balance personal space and togetherness in a relationship? Guys. We are human beings. We need our space. And like I've told you like a few one question ago, you cannot get 100% of what you need from one person. You have to keep 
you have to look for other percentages from other people for you to be happy. I need to be parented by my parents, not by my spouse. I need to be hugged as often and head turned and people sitting on my laps and heads by my children, not my husband. I need to be disciplined by my characters and my morals, not my spouse. Like there's so many things I get. I need friends that I can hang out with. I need hobbies that I can do without him. Like for example, I'm the one who's into fitness. By the way, have you subscribed to Marie Effect? I'm the one who's into fitness. He's not. I have to find my own space then togetherness comes because as a couple, there is us. But as Maria, there is this amazing human being that is willing to love someone and take care of someone because she is so very happy. Because without that, there's no way she can take care of someone. Yay! Seven questions down. Guys, another video coming next. Tell me if you want me to do this job videos faster first. Thank you so much for watching the jar videos whereby I tackle all your questions as much as they come and I put them in a jar then pick each at a time to answer so that at least I cannot ignore your inboxes. Thank you so much and I appreciate you so much. If you don't know how we send these questions, there is a page called the Waweru's on Facebook or Instagram on or the Waweru's on Waweru's Kenya on Instagram. If you send any question there, that is the those are the ones you put them in a jar. Or you can put some in the comment section down here. Those are the ones you put in a jar, and then we come here and answer them for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.